Hear that? Silence. But it's not going to last because we're about to enter the very chaotic and very, very noisy world of flyball. <laughs> Basically, flyball is all about being animated, we we'll call it. And dogs definitely need to be motivated. It's a sport where it's compulsory to go absolutely wild. The girls cross on both sides. Flyball has been in Australia for nearly 15 years now. It was actually invented over in America um, for a guy that had a ball crazy dog. So when you get to school on Monday, what do you tell everyone you've been doing on the weekend? Flyball. Do they know what that is? No, they ask, what's that? And I'm like, uh, it's where dogs jump over hurdles and then they get the ball and they're like, never heard of it. Interestingly, flyball is a sport where being small is a big advantage. The tights are actually set five inches lower than the shoulder height of the smallest dog that's running. Right, so it's a massive advantage oh, yeah, to have a little dog. Yes, it is a huge advantage. It's also a plus if owners are a bit on the wild side. I think I found out why some of them are going so crazy. <laughs> that is a serious glass of wine. I'm definitely alcoholic. Come on, come on, come on. Over, over. Who should we keep an eye on? Definitely Josh. I don't know Josh. where he is, but... Josh has been named and shamed. Yes, Josh does take his flyball very seriously. So he's perfect to show me the ropes. Do a wild card race this time. It's Clara from Talk to the Animals Handling Oscar. So give her all a big cheer. Oh, yeah. All right, Josh, show me what to do. All right, just talk to the dog. Teach me how to be a attention. maniac. You ready, Oscar? You ready? Come on, Oscar. Hard as motivator. You ready? You ready? You ready? And just you ready? go. Go, 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 go. Wendy is another mad keen flyball fanatic. We first met her on Talk to the Animals four years ago. Now Wendy, you're a total dynamo out there. What's your secret? I just really enjoy flyball. The dogs get really excited, so it pumps me up, gets me all excited. Astro really still loves it. He's getting a bit older now, but he still really enjoys it. Who do you think gets more enjoyment out of it, you or Astro? Very tough call, it's pretty close. I think about the same. Yeah. It's not surprising Astro enjoys flyball. This is a whole family of flyball border collies. They actually run with three different clubs. You have the father, Astro, the son, AJ, the mum, Zoe, brother, Hamish, and a half-sister, Esri, on the end. Flyball might still be a relatively new sport, but it's already produced some true champions. This is Finlay. And uh, what happened to his eye? He got away from me when we were walking one day and then into the front wheel of the oh, a little birdie told me that he's got a bit of a milestone today. Onyx, 1,300 points. Wow, so in the human world, what is that like? I'd be like a gold medal. Really, like an Olympic gold? Oh, well done, Finlay. So there you go, fly ball. Everyone's welcome, good, clean, family fun. Oh, he looks like he's about to fall asleep. Oh, yes, he's had a big day. He's done about an old timer. He's not the fastest dog in the team, but he does well. No.